Hey, what's going on YouTube? Clay Kizol here again, and uh, I just want to start this video out by apologizing for my videos still not coming out as, uh, as much as I want them to. I actually had to miss a couple days of stream this week, have been sick, still not feeling the best, but I always want to make sure I get my review of these banners out there for you, because I know a lot of you guys wait uh, for the reviews to come out before you try to summon. Today we're going to be covering this new banner that just hits, and I hope this information is good for you guys, so let's get into it. All right, so the first unit we're going to look at here is the Thief unit. Uh, first thing you're going to notice, and the thing with every one of these units, is that you have to pull them from a four-star base, meaning that you have to have a yellow crystal, obviously, to break them out of there. So their pull rates are going to be kind of shitty in the first place, and the Thief itself is straight shit. I'm sorry. Um, I'm actually really upset with this banner, so I'm going to be kind of a blunt with everything I say. Although the Thief, I think the uh, the sprite looks pretty cool. Other than that, everything about the Thief is just low-tier garbage, especially for being a 4-star to 5-star. Uh, none of the units on this banner get a 6-star upgrade, and they probably won't ever get a 6-star upgrade. We look at this trust, uh, trust Master here, Coin Still. It's actually the worst of the bunch out of the three. Uh, physical damage, and they still go from an enemy. You're never going to, excuse me, you're never going to try to go for this. You're never going to get it. Uh, if we go back here, we can go down and look at her abilities. She gets still escape, still gill, still HP, still time, still uh, aura, triple attack, bandit, still MP, and mercy stroke. Uh, obviously, this is a uh, bandit type character, being the thief. Uh, however, you're not really going to use her. I mean, I think Locke is the better choice here, obviously, and the better GM with the Rising Sun. Uh, Locke gives you the whole treasure chest, uh, treasure hunter ability where you can get more treasure and also steals really well. So, uh, this unit is not that great. If we go down here and look at her, too, um, she goes from having a green cap, which is that, that unit actually looks pretty cool there, and then even up to a purple cap it looks like a little pirate sign on top of it and her sword gets brighter so that's what we're looking at here guys thief is not very good you don't want to pull for thief you get thief you're going to be kind of sad unless you just like her to be in your uh your whole unit you know your, your unit box the next unit on the banner is called the juggler uh again four star base goes up to a five star uh, let's look at Sticky Fingers is the Trust Mastery, so let's give that a look here. Sticky Fingers gives you Magic 20%, uh, Spirit 20%, and MP 10%. So this may look like a pretty good, a pretty good, um, you know, TM here. Uh, it, it's okay, you know, the MP 10%, but the thing is, I don't think I really want to put Madge 20%, uh, Spirit 20%, and MP 20% on any of my units. I'd rather just be stacking the 30% Magic you get from Shantoto, who is way easier to get. So yeah, you could form this. It's a mediocre TM to a good TM, kind of, you know, in that mid-range. It's, it's pretty decent if you have one to put it on a character. However, uh, pulling this unit's hard because it's a four star, and then Shantoto is just that much easier to get that magic 30%. So I just want more damage here. So we'll go back and we'll look at the abilities that this uh, this unit gets Acrobatics, Throw, Provoke, Hide, One Man Show, Pandora's Box, Reign of Nights, Healing Smile, and Rolling Ball. The one thing I have t heard about this unit is that it makes it really easy to do uh, the whole combo, you know, uh, elemental uh, combo attacks here. Get them, you know, stack up your elemental chains and things like that. Uh, other than that, the unit is again not very good low tier to below average units um starts out as one and becomes two uh, as you can see from the four star sprite it gets a, it gets another buddy behind him uh, actually i don't even think this unit looks that cool uh so it doesn't even get the cool check mark for me uh bad unit you don't want to pull it unless you just really want it in your box again just like the thief um sorry to say guys but this banner is looking really bad and now brings us to the final unit on this banner, Fencer. And this is the one saving grace, if you can have one on this banner, although I still don't even think it's that great of a saving grace. Uh, Fencer is a physical uh, damage dealing unit. Uh, the Trust Mastery on Fencer is Lunge Combo, which is the best Trust Mastery out of the bunch. Attack 20%, Defense 20%, and HP 10%. Uh, with Global not being able to stack things like Blade Mastery or Double Hand, this is actually a pretty good uh, TM to have. So I'd say it's uh, you know it's about uh, above average to one of the ones you actually want to grind for. However, again, she's a 4-star base, so it's going to be hard to get a lot of them. So maybe you get one of these, maybe if you do pull a Fencer. Uh, if we go back and look at Fencer's abilities... Fencer gets uh, Swarm Strike, Attack 20%, Shadow, Shadow Stick, Piercing Blow, okay, Man Strike, sh uh, sh Swallow Tail, if I can talk right, Checkmate, Instant KO 50% to an enemy, I just like that because it's called Checkmate, that's just me, Darkness Veil, uh, Concentrate and Blade Master, increase it, okay, so Blade Master is the important part here, increases the attack by 30% when equipped with swords, so that makes her, uh, you know, physical damage, or physical attack uh, you know, stat go up a lot, because you are going to be equipping her with swords, like maybe the Enhancer that you got off the last, um, the last vortex boss however this this unit doesn't have barrage this unit doesn't go to a six star unit um and you know if you already have a chizuru a cod um you know any of those units this this unit actually is the fifth ranked physical dps or from the wiki site here and also in my mind it's still just below everyone else uh, i think it might even be below bart's 
uh, as far as physical damage goes. So I think Bart does get Barrage. So maybe you can get Barrage on this bad girl and throw it on there and uh, make her really good, perhaps. But again, you have to be pulling for a four-star unit that isn't all that great on her own. She's about uh, a little bit above average. And then you get a, a little bit above average TM, but then also you have the chance of getting the uh, Juggler and the Thief in there, which is just awful. And if we go down and look at her sprites here, she looks okay right here. She has like a little waifu bunny, and then she becomes a badass. I mean, her sprite is... It's it's uh it's very good it's very good she looks she looks awesome however I cannot condone pulling on this because she's just like she takes too much care like for especially for people who don't farm the TMs who don't have barrage yet as a TM that equips on her she's just not that good and there are better units already out and you probably already have. All right, guys, well, let's wrap it up. This banner overall, to me, sucks. Uh, one of the things I do need to mention is that it's a limited time unit banner, meaning that these guys won't go into the banner pool after the week that they're here. It's only for a week. After that, they're gone. So if you really, really want them and you want to collect all the units, you only have this week to pull for them. Um, overall, I'd say it's a pretty bad banner. Uh, I wouldn't be pulling on it if I were you. No, no, no. All four stars. No, no, no. They're not that great. It's not like you get that four star and it's like, woo, Warrior of Lighter. You get that four star and it's like, oh, shit, yeah, it's a Chizuru. No, you're getting Fencer, you're getting Juggler, you're getting Thief. All these units aren't that good. And even Fencer, who is pretty pretty high up there on the uh, physical damage dealing bit there, she needs things to help her out, like the Barrage TM, things like that, and a, and a good weapon to help her. So uh, I hope this video helps you. I'm sorry I rushed through it. I'm just not feeling that well. I'll be trying to put out some more videos. I do have ideas on videos, and I uh, know you guys deserve it, and I, I really need to get working on it, but I have been sick. But uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up if it helped you. Comment down below if you have any questions or disagree with me about anything. I do like to learn. And subscribe for future content uh, in the future, man. We'll see you later. Quite valuable to people out there who is running COD in their main teams. Uh, but go ahead, going back and reviewing Lock overall again. Um, you're going to be happy when you see him because he does have some use outside of his TM. He does have some use. He has some like special use, you know, for for hunting those materials you may need for certain recipes.